Now, Andre the Giant was known for sometimes taking liberties with yeah. people in the ring. Did you ever see any incidents of that? <laughs> I'll tell you a funny story. I uh, was a young guy when I started in Florida, and uh, this girl came to Jacksonville who I was seeing once in a while, and Andre saw her, and he said, I drove Andre up to Jacksonville and he was leaving the next day, flying out of Jacksonville. He said, boss, could you introduce me to her? So I introduced him to her. And Andre were friends and we traveled quite a bit, even though we weren't supposed to, I was a heel. Uh, John Studd was so afraid of Andre he was working the territory at the time in Florida. And he'd be working with Andre, in, especially in Orlando, because that would be the first day Andre would get in. It was a Sunday. He'd be drinking on the plane the whole way. He'd get a bottle of Crown Royal. And John was a very nice man, one of the nicest men you'd ever want to meet. And John would stand in the corner going, Oh no, oh no, and squeeze his hands like this for about 40 minutes before he went out. And Andre would take advantage of him. But I don't know if this is uh, an excuse or if I'm making an excuse for Andre. What he used to do, John, was step over the rope like Andre during his match. There was only one giant, and he would pound John pretty well. Interesting. I never heard that. I did hear that uh, John was afraid of him, but yeah. I wasn't sure exactly why. He did. He was like that with Hogan, too, for a while, wasn't he? Who? Uh, uh, the Giant? Oh, yeah. When they first went to New York and Hogan was a heel? Yeah. He didn't make it easy. I think they became friends in Japan.